Hello and welcome to my full guide on how to install Battletech Extended Mod with Bigger Drops, CAC C, The Big Deal and the Mech Pack. This will be a step-by-step -step detailed guide, it is recommended to follow the steps in sequence. The very first step you should do, after installing the Battletech game, from a fresh install, is to run it and to log in. This is very, very important. This is because if you have prior saves that you wish to load it will be unable to load because the game will generate a different naming scheme for your saves. Do not install any mods yet until you have logged in the game at least once. Download Battletech Extended. The link is in the description. Make a mods folder in your Battletech directory, lowercase. Extract the Battletech Extended Archive here. Download the Community Asset Bundle, CAB, link is in the description. Run the CAB installer. Click on Advanced Mode to be able to switch directories. Set Install Target to your Battletech Mods folder. Set Checkout Space to a folder, preferably within the same drive as your Battletech game, IEF Battletech Extended Checkout folder. Click on Update Cab. Note that you should disable your firewall, VPN and antivirus as it may interfere with your installation of the cab. This results into the dreaded cab upgrade failure error. If this happens you might need to reinstall Battletech and start all over again. Once successful, you should get this message and you can proceed to the next step. Run ModTech. Go to your mods folder where you extracted the Battletech extended mod archive. Then go to the modtech folder and run modtech injector.x. Extract bigger drops to your mods folder. Overwrite when asked. This is important because it is required in the CAC C mod, and the mech pack requires the CAC C mod. Any saves you make from here on. The game will expect you have the bigger drops mod so do not miss this out. Run the game at this point. This is because we have installed a couple of mods already and just to check that everything is in working order. If there are no error messages that appear then you can proceed further. Now at this point, 
You can choose to install mods further, but what I would do is finish playing the Battletech Extended mod first before installing further mods, i.e. finish all the story, flashpoints and get endgame mechs. This is because some of the mods give issues to story flashpoints and vanilla flashpoints which cause them not to load and is frustrating to fix. You can then make a backup of your save and segregate them each time you install new mods. This way you can revert back to an earlier save if your saves fail to load. This will prevent you from bricking your saves. Proceeding further, we then install the next mod. Go to the CACC mod page, link is in the description. Download mod tech version 4.1.0. This is because Battletech Extended uses an older version of Mod Tech, unlike Rogue Tech. The CAC C mod needs a newer version. Delete the old .modtech and modtech folders in your Battletech mods directory. Place the modtech version 4.1.0 archive into your Battletech directory, not mods directory, and extract it from there. Overwrite files when asked. Remove these three folders in your mods folder, btml color loss mod, mech resizer and stable piloting. Update the cab, set your install target and checkout directory in the same paths as before. Remove these two folders in your mods folder, IRB mod utils and mission control. Download the CAC C mod from the link in the description. The download link is under releases, on the right side of the page. Extract the CAC C mod to your mods folder. Overwrite when asked. Download the Big Deal mod, link is in the description. Note, this mod can cause some of the vanilla flashpoints or missions to not load, which can soft brick your progress. Hence I strongly recommend you to finish those first before installing this mod. Also note, if you are using the CAC C mod, which we installed earlier, and if you have any Artemis equipped LRM15 and LRM20, Delta brand, the one that gives minus 1 slot and minus 4 heat, you have to remove them from your mechs and sell them from your storage before installing this mod, otherwise you might not be able to load your saves. This warning is from version 1.4.5 of the Big Deal mod. Now extract the big deal add-on, bex plus cac c dot rar, file onto your Battletech mods folder and overwrite when asked. You don't need the other dot rar files unless you will use them. 
The emergency for manual flashpoint, FP, start is used if you can't start the flashpoint but that is reserved for that case only. Now at this stage we will install the mech pack. You might want to finish the big deal add-on first and get all the mechs you want from that mod before proceeding further. This is because as of this time of posting, the mech pack is still in beta and not yet a final release. It is advised to archive your save and segregate it in a folder as advised previously so that you can roll back to a save before you installed the mech pack mod. Download the mech pack mod, link is in the description. When you are ready to install the mod, place it into your mods folder and then extract it, overriding when asked. Now the finale, launch the game. You should have all of the mods installed. Remember, if you need to roll back a save because the mod has updated, you can easily do so if you made backups of your save and segregated them in separate folders before installing each mod. Note that the install order is shown above as well, if you want to make it up to the mech pack. You cannot install these mods in any other order otherwise it will not work. Thank you for watching. If this has helped you, please consider liking and subscribing. Happy gaming.